What's going on, Pokemon trainers? This is Trainer Connor, and you're going to be watching another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon Showdown Battle video here. I almost said Sword and Shield because I'm super excited for these games, gosh darn it. They're coming out this Friday. I'm super duper excited because I don't know much about these games. And they're coming for the Switch, so a new era begins this Friday. Before we get into the new generation of Pokemon, I have for you today Pokemon Showdown OM of the Month for November. The Tear Shift metagame is something interesting I want to go over real quick before we get into the battle itself. The Tear Shift is very simple actually. They're making it a standard gameplay experience, but lower class Pokemon in the UU through ZU, which would be UU, NU, RU, PU, and ZU, which I don't know about ZU, I think it's really, really well, but those Pokemon get their stats raised so that they are OU caliber. So I thought that was interesting. You can look up the rules. I'll have a link in the description if you want to learn more about the tier shift. I thought it was an interesting metagame. I got through a couple of matches. I only have one to show you today, but throughout the battles, I thought I had a lot of fun with it. So and I have an interesting team as well. Unfortunately, I won't be able to use all of these Pokemon, but they're really good movesets. So I hope you all enjoy them. Let's go over the team preview and you'll see what I'm dealing with here. All right, let's do it. All right, so before we start the match, I'm gonna go over my Pokemon lineup. Yes, you see a lot of lower class Pokemon. I have a Lycanroc, normal form, with Stealth Rock. We have a Lantern with a Bolt Beam coverage move set, which is pretty standard. A Mega Garchomp, that's my OU Pokemon for this fight. We have a Black Sludge Venusaur, Quiver Dance, Butterfree, and a Fake Out Mock Punch Technician. Hitmontop. I, I kind of forgot that for a second. But you can see my opponent right there. Uh, he has a Trampa, Manectric, Blossom, Minior, Ambipom, and the OU Pokemon for his side is Ferrothorn. Really good teams. I really like it. Should be an interesting fight. So we're going to go over to the battle screen and we're going to start the match itself. I hope you enjoy. I'm going to start out with Lycanroc because I really want to get my Stealth Rocks. But then I'm like, okay, he might fake out and get rid of my Focus Sash because that's the item I'm holding on Lycanroc. I go in to hit my top. I use the Intimidate ability. I go for Fake Out. I know he's going to probably go into Ferrothorn, which, you know, that's typical because of the RM barbs and potential Rocky Helmet, which he does not have, but it's possible that he might have it. He gets up his Stealth Rocks. I don't want him to set up a Spike or a Thunder Wave, but it's good that he went for Gyro Ball. So this way he won't be able to get up any more Hazards if he has them. I'm going to get up my own Hazards. I get up my Stealth Rocks and it's changed for Lycan Rock going down, which is okay. I go into Venusaur here. Venusaur has Hidden Power Fire in this video, which I go for right here, and it really doesn't do much damage to Grandpa, who resisted it. I go into Hitmontop again, who takes a little bit of damage coming in, but I want to use Rapid Spin. He goes for Fire Blast, which is, you know, I dodge it, but it's good coverage, and it's good to see that he has that, so I can plan things accordingly. I go for Rapid Spin, I get rid of the Angry Hazards. On my side of the field, and he goes into Blossom. I wasn't sure what it was going to do to me. I go into Garchomp, and then I'm like, okay, he's going to go for the Grass type attack. I can go into Venusaur and just resist it just like that. He goes for another Quiver Dance. That is scary because Quiver Dance boosts up your statistics. And I really want to poison it so that it takes chip damage every turn, which I end up getting that. But 
in exchange, I'm going to probably lose this one in the end. But I have some answers to deal with the loss of So it's not a huge problem. The only issue, yeah, the only issue is I don't have a fire type Pokemon. Yes, I have Hidden Power Fires, Hidden Power Ice. I have those options available, but I just don't have a legitimate fire type on my team, which is unfortunate. Now, I utilize Butterfree, which is a Quiver Dance set, but I don't use Quiver Dance. I just go straight for the attacking move, which is Bug Buzz, and I manage to KO the Blossom. Now, this is where my opponent really gets greedy because he goes for Shell Smash with Mightyor twice, and this is a misplay, in my opinion. Had he attacked me, I would have gone down, and I really don't have a good answer for my New York on this Pokemon team that I have here. He goes into Manectric, who is most likely Scarfed, so I really didn't want to, even though I have Garchomp, who is immune to Volt Switch, I didn't want him to use like a different coverage option. So I just let my Pokemon go down, you know, it's just unfortunate there, but you have to make those plays. He gets up Scarfed here, I'm not worried about it at this point, Juncture of the match. I go into Lantern. Lantern is one of those Pokemon that is just very underrated at times, especially here where I have a lot of coverage options. We do have the Scald and Ice Beam. He does have the Berserk ability, which, you know, I really am lucky here because he went for the Draco Meteor, who was, you know, that was boosted from the Berserk ability. I dodged it, so I got very lucky here. That's cool. He goes into Amipom, and I know the fake out is coming, so I switch out and go into Garchomp, whom I haven't used yet in this video. This is a Swords Dance Garchomp, which I, I'm going to use this properly. I go for Swords Dance here, I know I can live a few moves from this Amipom. He goes for U turn, that fails to KO, so I'm able to utilize a plus two outrage, which is going to annihilate Manetric. That's a Pokemon that is extremely tightening out of the way. He goes back into Amipom, goes for the fake out. I know that's coming. I don't have a good answer for him. Well, I mean, I do have answers, but I just didn't want anyone else to take the fake out. That's what I meant to say there. I do have my own fake out, which I use right here. He's going to flinch. And then I'm going to use Hitmontop's Mock Punch, and that's priority as well. It's going to easily wipe out Amipom. And then my opponent, who realizes that the battle is over, he forfeits. You know what? It's okay. My opponent realized that the match was over, which is fair. I had different options to take care of Ferrothorn. Not a problem. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed this battle, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. I might be here really soon with Pokemon Sword and Shield, so stay tuned. I'm super excited. You guys have a great week now, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, my friends.